I just had the worst dream ever. Oh, no, they didn't sing when the saints go marching in. <laughs> Not that old barroom song. <laughs> oh, man. Help me, Lord. <laughs> I've been in a coma too long to come out of it and got this dumbness going on. I can't go back to what I used to do. God done brought me too far out for me to go back to this stupidity, this dumbness. Lord, I want to say thank you for keeping me for this blessed time to get up out of this situation. Oh, God, can I get up? <laughs> oh, Lord, can I get up? <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, man. Am I? It's always dark in here. When I get back to church, I hope they pay the light bill. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Oh, I got to go back to church. It's been a long, long time. Oh, man. Tell them about it, Matthew. I've been out of church 25 years. I was in a home for 20 years. Then my family did the idea that rolling me into a church would bring me out of the home. I'm glad and mad all at the same. I promised God He wasn't going to have to worry about me in church no more. I promised God that the songs were too old, the people were too cranky, the preacher. He didn't know as much as I knew. I didn't even know God was real. I still had problems. I still had disappointments. And every time I turned around, it was a new trouble. But now I've been in a coma for 20 years. I ain't see my street friends. Nobody came to see me. I didn't want the preacher to come because I had done nothing for him. Wasn't nothing he could do for me. But when my friends didn't come, 
when folk I've been good to didn't come. And when the only people that did anything for me were paid to do it, it changed my thoughts and my attitude. I think people will always let you down. But some kind of way, 25 years later, God still wants to bless me. God still wants to use me. God still wants to push my life back up again. What am I going to say and I told him I wouldn't be back? What am I going to do? What will God have me to do? I'm not the same person who left when I left. Going back, no matter what it means, I'm going back. I don't care what they say about me. I'm going back. Because the one person who always stood by me, who never left me, who was a friend, even to right now, been my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I need you. Oh Lord. Oh my God. I just thought about some of them church folk. Every time I come in and get sent, somebody want to go get something out the car for somebody want to go do this for them, run to the store for them. Oh, my legs ain't ready for all this. Oh man. Get to church, they don't want me to fix this, do this, go see about that. They don't even remember to say thank you after you have done something for But I'm going back. I ain't going for them. I'm going for him. I'm going to do what I got to do, but I'm going to do it for him. Lord, I don't know what you're doing. I don't know why you're doing. I don't know how you're doing. I need rehab. I need rehab on the outside. And I sure need some rehab on the inside. But Lord, if you brought me this far, I know you can take me all the way. I've been standing longer than the doctor told me to stand. I have done more than the doctor told me to do. So I got to lay back down for a minute. Give my strength up. I can't think about too far in the future. It's depressing. But I don't care what happens. It's better than what has already happened. I don't care what friends I lose. God got better for me. 